Hello everyone. I hope you're doing well. My name is Rin Chao Du. I'm the director of my own program called Rin Chao Du Ballet Coaching. I'm very happy. Again, here we are having a class together. Let's go to it. Okay? Let's run around first. First combination, play it. First position, right away today, let's go to ground play. We do one and two, three and four. Again, repeat five and six, seven, pendu, second position. Ground plie, two, three, four. The second ground plie, reverse your arm. Five and six, seven, fourth position, eight. This time, two demi plie, fourth position with arm, and two, three, and four. Pull the bra forward, seven and eight. Again, one and two, three and four, tendu back, pull the bra all the way back. Fifth, grand plie, two, three, four, resume. Grand plie, two and three and four, a circle pull the bra. All the way around, rise up, balance, and we reach out. Left arm higher, right arm lower. Nice and easy, make sure, although it is ground plie, but every, every ground plie consists of two demi plie. This is the first demi plie, extension to ground plie. When I come up, I have to go through demi plie again before I can finish. So although it is ground plie, but there's two demi plie inside of it, okay? All right, let's start. Make sure when you at very deep of the ground plie, you don't lose your shoulder by doing this. It is so natural and it's so easy to do. You just have to think about 
shoulders always on top of this hip, especially at the depth of the ground plie. By doing this, you see, minimal torso straight down and straight up. The worst thing you can do actually is this. You lose the structure and that plie becomes not valuable at all. Actually, you create a wrong muscle memory because when you go to the jump, you always go back. Left. But Mont Tendu from fifth position. We do fifth and fifth. One, two, three. Balancewa. Coming back. One and two. One, two, three. En quad. One and two and three and four. From here now. Three tendu to the side, all close to front. Front, front, front. Coupe tendu in. Reverse. One and two. Heel lead the movement. Toes back, heel. Again, fifth and fifth. Back, front, back. Come home each time. Fifth and fifth and fifth, fifth. Fifth, what's after that? Three tendu to the back. All close, back, fifth. Two, three. Scrape, pendu, in, and finish. Okay, nice and square. And I always said fifth position is like a come home. You have much easier time to come home from the front fifth, the back fifth, because we don't feel as, as vivid because it's behind us. Oftentimes I see this heel up like this. Two reasons. One, Knees bend, the other hips up, neither good. Put it down each time. The heel has to be appear to the other side. Mm -hmm. Really be aware of that. Okay, let's do it. fifth position.
Good. The stretch calf. Look at my head doing balance one. I do head, head, head. I only say the head. I never say shoulders. So this is wrong. You see what's happening here? Just the head. Use your weight of the head to counterbalance the foot in front and back and front. Shoulders always on top this hip. Okay, let's try the left side, please. jeté and PKs. We do two jeté, two PKs, up, up, in, to the side, two jeté, two PKs, up, up, in, change the weight, so my FRC one, one, two, one, two, three, and all PKs to the back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, reverse, we do one and two, one, two, three, side and two, one, two, three, inside, one and two, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and finish. Accent up in PK. In order to do that, one part of your body has to go down. Is your bottom. Down and forward. In order for the leg to go up. If you don't have this contrast and support and opposite engagement, you're doing the PK with the entire lower body, which is not, um, not effective. And it's incorrect. So once again, look at my foot. Just your leg, not your hips. Okay? Let's give it a try, please. As you can see, my jeté is higher. My jeté is about 45 degrees, especially with this tempo. People ask, is it sustainable with that height, uh, the, the height of my jeté with a quick, much faster speed? No, it is not. Your participation in every step on the bar, in the center, or in choreography and repertory, is according to in what circumstances need what. 
Just like this morning I wake up and I didn't know what I was going to eat the night before. I'm going to see what I would like to eat. If I don't have enough time, I eat something real quick. If I have a lot of time, I choose something that I maybe take a little longer to prepare. It's all according to the circumstances. So if I give a combination, let's say, quicker, we do one and two and three and four. So my jeté will be like this. One and two and three and four. You see? Lower. But with this tempo, we do and one and two. Little higher. It really changes. There's no set of doctrine serves for all circumstances. Okay, so just you know, because I get the, the message, so if it's, if it's this height, what about music faster? When the music faster, you move faster, lower your leg. That's it. Okay? Left. Stretch your leg a little bit before we go to Rondo Jean Patel. Let's do it. In preparation, we do one and two and one, two, three, four. Repeat back and six, seven and uh, Bigger deal, heavy plie, a lot of friction, a lot of weight into the ground. Plie, now go to the back. Then you will cut the uh, material in half. One and a two, three and a four. This is five. Open the thigh, five. Reach back, six. All the way up seven and eight. Reverse one, two, three, and uh, forty-five. One, two, three, and uh, forty-five front. One and uh, back. Two and uh, front. Add a two. This time, don't reach forward. Lead by your knee directly open to the side. As though you have, if you have, you, you, if you have something on the, on the arch in the inside of that foot, you put that object on the top of your foot. Now, when you reach to the side, make sure that you don't drop. Whatever that is, don't drop. And make sure you don't dangle in your leg, the object drops. Very careful to the side. Then all the way to the back. Yeah? So, gently tendu, pull the bra, forward, two, three, stand up, four. All the way back, six, seven, and eight. Pull the bra forward, two, three, and four. A la seconde, add a two. Um, lower add a two, but look at my elbow this way. Not this way, this particular attitude, like that. From here, reach fifth. It's like my arm, it's a frame of my face. Framing the face. And extend to a beautiful attitude in the back. Nice line you have to create with your legs. First, you have to visualize the line. You have to preset a, a, an idea what your body line, what your body will do. Then, your body will have a chance to realize 
what you had in mind. So the first, you have to have what your end position should be. Then the body have a chance to follow through. Okay? All right, let's try it, please. Stretch the leg. Always the very end, the elongé takes longer than you think you need to. You just realized, I held that position right around the time your mind tells you, you're tired, you can calm down now. You wait, do it three more seconds. Don't let your mind tell you, okay, you can just relax. That's not it. That's not long enough. Three to five more seconds, and now you can finish. Because audience, people looking at you dance, they need time to reflect. They need the time to register the fact that you've done something. You're finished. It, it doesn't, they cannot read your mind. They cannot say, oh yeah, he's done or she's done. No, they cannot read your mind. They have to register. Okay, she's finished or he's finished. Oh, now he's coming down to preparation. This process takes much longer time than you think it need. This is why oftentimes I see students, particularly on stage, you finish a great variation. I want to see two more seconds to be held in that position before you come down to B plus or fifth position, whatever. We need that time to register. And this is the maturity that you need to train yourself to do now on the bar. And at the end of the every combination, don't relax till it's done. Left side.
Good. Stretch your calf a little bit. Let's do it. So simple. Eight. Fondue one and two. All you do is open to a la seconde. That's it. Then fondue second to the back. Arms one and two. Three, plie four. Pushing down. Four to the other side. And grand round the jambe. Seven, eight. The other side. One, two, three, four. No arm there. One, two, three, four. Arm. One, two. Go through three. Three, four, four, two, five, and six, seven, and eight. We're done. No more, no less. Yeah? Ready? Great. Stretch your calf by putting one foot on top of the other knee. And we just simply plie and we push forward. And then we can stretch and relax the hip relax, uh, flexor. The other leg, forward. Frappe. We do. Solo coulipie. Front, 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 and uh, back. Back, and two, three, and uh, front. Side, 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 side. Um, I'm relevant now. PT bottom on back. Two, three, four, five, six. Back, come back. Actually, now I stay up relevant. We do one, two, three, and uh, front. Two, two, three, and uh, back. Side, 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 side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And finish. Once again, one, two, three, could you peer, could you peer, back. Back, two, three, could you peer, could you peer, front. Side, side, triple. One, two, three. PT bottom on back. Two, three, four, five, six. Arabesque. Stay up. The whole thing comes around from the back. On the irrelevant. Okay. Let's take a deep breath. Ready?
a little bit. I have people ask me, how does it, my music, my combination of my music always end at the same time? It's simple. Work. Sometimes it's just a simple concept. You create a combination, fits exactly with the music that you have in front of you. Hopefully, maybe one day I'll, I'll have a, a Miss have a Miss Regina playing with me for me, and Miss Nina and, and Miss Natasha, those absolutely wonderful, wonderful artists. But in the circumstances, what if you don't have it? You don't have live music. What do you do? Do you just put some music on and uh, use the music, whatever the combination finished music is still going? No. You create the combination fits the music perfectly. It just takes time, that's all there is to it. And we have to respect sometimes, most of the time, we have to respect just good old work ethic. Putting the time and make as perfect as you can possibly can with any subject. I often tell the students, write an email, Right, people texting each other and everything. But when it comes to writing an email to a teacher, to your director, write a good email. Read it through, proper spacing, addressing people properly, have an introduction, tell what you want to say, and a conclusion, and a sign. You look at it, it's perfect. Before I even get into the subject, I already have a good feeling about what I'm about to read. Sometimes I open up the email, it's all mushed in together, it, the words and it's, the font is so big or it's too small, and it doesn't address people properly. It doesn't matter what, what news you deliver to me. I already have a somewhat negative feeling about what I'm, I'm about to read. So my advice to young people and anybody, in your capacity, do the best you can. Execution things in life. Small things like writing an email. Or, simple, you, 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 you cook a dish for your family. Put your heart to it. Put the best skill to it. Even just, I don't know, um, make a, some vegetable or something. You put a nice plate, nice color, even just simplest things, the way you present yourself, it says a lot about you. Same thing in this class. I do the best I can to present a product that is educational and entertaining. And this is my platform just to even having conversation with you right now. I want to make sure it is the best quality that I can possibly deliver. And this is the same principle that I have for my own program from the website. Mr. Isaac created this gorgeous website. And I did not just put some picture in there uh, uh, from my iPhone, no. We had a photo shoot with Mr. Josh. We picked the picture, we fine-tuned the picture, everything, the color, the font, the size, everything needs to be scrutinized. So people put a lot of attention in how they order their coffee, right? You go to Starbucks, you order a coffee, it has to be absolutely specific. I need this at this amount, I want this to add it in and what such. Yes, but do the same thing with your work. Do the same thing with your life. Do the same thing how we treat each other, how we're addressing each other. And I think this is not for other people. I don't want to lecture anybody. This is my reflection, just how I feel. It is not your service to others. It is how you feel about yourself. It is where you want to put yourself personally and professionally. And I think we all feel better about ourselves, especially in today's world. Turbulence. Activities you cannot control, but the things you can control, do it well. Do it with care. And do it with love. Just like a fondue. Look at my knee. 
to melt, that's love. That's love I have for my knee. I don't just do this. I don't just care less and this. No. Carefully. Knees over the toes. Do it properly. That's one thing I get that off my chest. Okay, let's do the other side. Frappe. Wonderful. Let's do Let's do <clears throat> Adagio. We do little elange on eight. Relevant long. We do one, two, three, four. Bring it to the side, five, six. Gently turn to seven, eight. This is perhaps harder than the leg goes up. Controlled, just like an airplane landing. Actually, I know airplane takes more pressure, more fuel, more energy when it lands than it takes off. Because the speed, it needs a lot of energy and mechanically in order for it to slow down and fighting with the, earth, uh, the, the, the gravity and the land smoothly. This is what your leg is doing right now. I know you can lower the leg because the gravity, the earth is doing for us. You want to control at your speed. Gentle tendu and come back up. And all the way to the back, tendu, little pull the bra. Then back, two, three, four, five, six, gentle tendu, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, look. Change the shape of your leg before it comes to the front. Then we go to Sutinu to the other side. Okay. Ready? It hurts. <laughs> if, I'm not, if I tell you, oh yeah, that was easy, I'm being dishonest. It's tough, relevant long. One of the hardest, uh, my least favorite when I, was, when I was a student. Because I didn't know where the energy come from. It's so heavy. And yes, that's it. It is supposed to be heavy. It is supposed to be difficult. That's why we do it. However, what we can do to help us 
is always when the leg is up, everything else is down, like this. If you do this, you, the leg will never come up. You do opposite, watch me. Everything down, only legs come up. When I say down, it's drilled into the ground. Your supporting leg, ribs closed, compressed energy to counterbalance the leg movement. And then when you go to the side. Now from, do everything you could. Hold four counts. One, two, three. I know you want to go on four. No. One, two, three, four. Open five. Now you go to the back. Yeah, gentle tendu. Then come back to fifth position. Let's go to the other side. Ground bomb on. We do. One, plie two. Pushing down, come up three and four. To the side, one, plie two, three and four. To the back. One, tendu, plie, back. This is on three, brush four. One, two, three. Su ti ni. The other side. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three. Let's do. Pass it through. And four. One, two, three. Su ti ni. Okay, so when you go back, watch this. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three. Suiting for. Okay. All right. Preparation. Fifth position. Let's do a port de bras and a center 
Okay, just follow me. We do it together. All right. In first position, please. Thank you so much for the time we have together. It truly is a moment that I look forward to each week. It is reminiscent my performing years. And although I don't see you, but I can feel your energy. I can feel your support. And I want to tell you, I'm deeply, deeply grateful for all of you out there. Whether you're watching the class, you're taking the class from all walks of life all over the world. Your continued support and care, attention of me and our program, it means the world to us. Please visit our website, www.renchildude.com. Has some of the, my beliefs in, about dance, about ballet education, and all the classes that are offered. All classes is taught by me personally, live, with corrections, instructions, guidance, everything. And I am absolutely stunned by the response, the global response. I literally see students mourning for them, evening for this group of people at the same time on my TV screen. Beautiful, beautiful experience you have given me. I ask you your continued support and we have some great announcement things in the works for you. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening or morning and day. I will be seeing you next time. Thank you very much. Thank you.